Mount Angel Abbey is a place on the edge of the world. On the edge, but not over it. It's not that monks do not care about the rest of the world. But there are possibilities along the edge that cannot be had at the center. In the spirit of St. Benedict, we share our life with all who come. But the sense of edge must be maintained. Landscape, birds, wildlife, buildings, everything about this place evokes that sense of being somehow removed. Experience what is here and be renewed and refreshed. The silence of the monastery seeps outward across the whole hilltop. The spirit of silence is in this place. Come, see, experience our life on the edge of the world. And he said to them, come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. Retreat into the silence away from the world. Retreat into this sacred space. In my father's house, there are many rooms this is our guest house. Be our guest. We welcome you as Christ. As soon as anyone knocks or a poor man calls out, he replies, thanks be to God, your blessing please. Silence is essential. Silence leaves room for God to enter our lives and speak. Silence leaves room for prayer. Let silence express your deep longing to hear the word of God. Be still enough to listen. In this space, the silence is beautiful. Open the scriptures, ponder, and look around. The space is beautiful. The word is beautiful, sacred. Lexio Divina. Slow, prayerful reading. Reading seeks, meditation finds, Prayer asks, contemplation tastes. Reading, so to speak, puts food solid in the mouth. Meditation chews and breaks it. Prayer attains its savor. Contemplation is itself the sweetness that rejoices and refreshes. It shall come to pass in the latter days 
that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it and many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. There are some who feel drawn to the spirituality and wisdom found in this way of life. They are not called to the cloister of monastic life, but wish to unite themselves to this place as Benedictine Oblates of Mount Angel Abbey. Formed by the Benedictine monastic tradition, the Oblates of Mount Angel seek God in Christian discipleship in the world by fulfilling those good works that God has prepared. Oblates who come to Mount Angel say, I feel at peace and at home when I am on this hilltop. I feel like I can breathe when I am here. For some, coming to Mount Angel and praying with the monks was the first time they experienced the liturgy of the hours. But in doing so, felt an overwhelming sense of homecoming. The Abbey and Mount Angel's monastic community become for them a North Star in an increasingly cacophonous world. You provide grass for the cattle and the plants for man to cultivate. You bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen his body. In the spirit of a centuries-old monastic tradition, we dedicate our craft to brewing for a higher purpose using hops grown in our own backyard and pristine Oregon water. We brew in facilities located right on Abbey grounds. The brewery is a place where monastic life cultivates hard work and prayer with every bottle brewed to the glory of God. say that the tap room should be a place of hospitality and welcome and family friendliness would be too shallow. The tap room is a place where people are more than just welcome. It's a place where they will feel blessed, where they will feel the peace of Mount Angel, where they will encounter faith in an inviting and non-threatening way where they will want to come back time and again because of the atmosphere of welcome, acceptance, the very presence of Christ among us.
Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. The monastic life is the center of what goes on here on this mountain. It is the essence of this place, a place of prayer and work, a place of silence and peace. And while this is going on, another important work is taking place, nurtured and sustained by this rich tradition. The seminary at Mount Angel is, as the rule of St. Benedict says, a school of the Lord's service. Raising up future priests, schooled in liturgy and sacrament to shepherd God's people. From this center, from this mountain, it is then possible to influence the rest of the church and the world in ways which are hidden and yet profound. Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him out of the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the house of Israel, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my own possession among all the peoples, for all the earth is mine, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. One thing I ask of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Walk inside and find rest. Come and enter into his courts with songs of praise be struck with beauty, with the beauty of his sanctuary. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Scholastica, pray for us. A vibrant communion of souls comes together in this parish church of Mount Angel to worship the Lord. Some families have roots back to the beginning of this parish. Some are new and are drawn here by God. There is life here and the glory of God rests upon this sanctuary. The grace of God is definitely at work in this parish of St. Mary. While a monastery quietly operates further up on the hill, the stable rhythm and prayer of the monastic life leaves its mark in some way on all who are connected to this holy sanctuary.
Pilgrims and visitors come in and out, wandering about in this place of encounter with the monks, with monastic culture. This is a stopping place where souls can be blessed. Some are just trying to find their way. Some come with questions. Some are ministered to and even brought to Christ in this space. The hour has come. It is time for you to awaken from sleep. For our salvation is nearer to us now than it was when we first began to believe. The night is nearly over and the day is at hand. A good cup of coffee invigorates the heart. Now at last, O oh Master, you may release your servant for final peace, according to the pledge you gave me, because my eyes have seen your salvation in the sight of all the peoples you have raised it up. It will be a light as revelation to the nations and as glory for your people, Israel. Cum Patre Santo Spiritu, in sempiterna secula. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Going forth with the peace of Christ, let your light shine. Take what you have received and share with the world. This holy mountain, Mount Angel, will remain. The monks continue their life rooted in Christ. Whatever your starting point, wherever you are going, you are always welcome as Christ on this mountain.